Huggy Chuggy peeps. So, a, uh, a look at the card. Now, it is a little bit different for us to do it this way because it's already installed and I'm not showing you around it, but at the end of the day, it's a sound card. We can pick up the, the main points, really. Now, uh, obviously you can see the EMI shield covering the card. That's the metal shield around it. That stops like in, uh, electronic interference and stuff uh, from within your rig. Um, sometimes you can get problems like that, you know, with the... Uh, um, even from your power supply maybe, but it's it, it's there to stop that. Now, something that is very different with this is the power cable. It's a PCI Express. Um, that's the first time I've seen a PCI Express power cable on a sound card, but obviously it is a lot easier uh, for most people to be able to connect that up than a floppy connector. Floppy connectors can get um, a bit messy. I've obviously got one in Orca, and it, it's probably the one bit in the rig that I don't like. Um, but there's not really much you can do about it. Anyway, so that's a better option because obviously we've all got PCI Express cables because of our graphics cards. Now if I move up slightly and come down, there is a light on the top here. Well, you can't really see it's blue and it does light up Zonar Phoebus or Phoebus, however you want to pronounce it, but it lights the name up on the side and it's blue at the moment because that's actually linked to do with the, the sample rate that it's playing and it can go red when the sample rate goes up. Now, we do have uh, a range of connectors on the back, um, and if I have a look for you, it's got, uh, right, we've got mic in, HP out, box link in, which I'll show you in a minute, line in, front, centre uh, and sub, rear, and then side, but it's also your SPDIF, um, so that's your digital connection. Now, the box connector is this. Now essentially what this is, is it's like a little control centre. Uh, you've got a connection for the headphone and microphone here. This you can actually use as a like a live um, uh, volume. Now the thing is, is this is really like a, uh, it, the, the sound card has got a headphone amp built in. But with this, you can obviously turn it up and down if your headphone doesn't have uh, the controls itself. You can mute it as well, because there is a, a mic built in. As I've said in the the thing before, um, uh, you can either have this so it's picking up the uh, the ambient noise or the you know the the normal kind of room noise and everything like that, however you know you want to call it. Um, but you can also use the the microphone built in this. If your headset hasn't got a microphone, you can use this and you just kind of have it pointed you know underneath your monitor or whatever and this is angled so it should work better. Uh, it does need plugging in as I said to you before, to the back of the unit. Uh, but this would be, uh, this is really something that if you're going to be using uh, headphones. But the good thing about it is, is you can switch between the two because if you uh, uh, take your headphones out, it will switch back to the speakers and you can have both plugged in. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, you know, it is nice to have something like this on your desk. We'll talk about this in a little bit more. So we've had a look at the actual card itself. Uh, I'm using the normal Rampage test system, but that doesn't really affect this test, but we have got a 3960X. That's a HIS 7970H100, 16 gigabyte, of course, they dominate a Platinum. Uh, Rampage 4 Extreme, we're obviously, you know, using the, the Asus kit. Uh, now, the audio today, because that's going to be a big part of this, is the speakers are scythe speakers and that's a little scythe amp down here as well now they're only 20 watt rms they're you know kind of they're not the most booming speakers in the world but they certainly do a good job and they are pretty good gaming speakers as well i've been using them for quite a while now to be fair and it's uh they're very good strong sturdy construction but they do need a decent signal to get the best from them um, but what I'm going to do now is uh, we'll have a uh, good look at the Asus webpage, look at some of the stats, um, and yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. Okay then, peeps. So, new sound card. First thing I did was uh, come to the Asus website to download the drivers for it and any software or anything that might be available. So I always try and download it direct off the website to get the latest stuff. The only time I really use the, like, the driver CDs that come with components 
is uh, when it's so new that it's like NDA'd and it's not on the like the public website or anything yet. And that's pretty much the only time that I do end up using uh, a disk drive and I use an external for that now. Um, but anyway, so it, this has been out a little while. So I come to the Asus website, went to products, and you need to go to multimedia, and then you go to audio cards. Now, we've got Essence series, which is the audio file card, and then gaming and entertainment s series. So I went to that, but there's no Phoebus here at all. Um, so I thought to myself, well, go back. It can't be an Essence, but I'll have a look, so it's not there. Now, what you have to do is you have to go to the Republic of Gamers website, go to the products, audio, and then you can see that you've got the Zonar Phoebus. So I've already got the page up. But I found this a little bit confusing because, yeah, okay, do you know what I mean? That's fair enough. But this is an Asus overall website. Um, and you can still find the Republic of Gamers motherboards and stuff here. Oh, look, someone's, there's an OC3D award over here. Um, I do believe that was for the Aries. But anyway, so you can find the other Asus stuff here, but it's you can't find the graphics cards uh, you can't find the audio cards and i i yeah i i didn't think that made a lot of sense at all to be fair but anyway so i eventually found it on this asus page and you can get your you know specifications and you can download your driver and stuff from here which i like i said i always try and get the updated stuff but we want to look at like the specs and stuff so if we look on the right hand side we can see it's command technology rog command technology effective reduces um, up to 55, 50% uh, 50 of environmental noise. Embrace exceptional sound quality. For the win, FDW, oh yeah. With 118 decibel SNR, that's signal to noise ratio. So that's a really good high clarity um, uh, headphone. Um, real good high clarity, but it's also got a headphone amplifier built in as well. Control box uh, within easy reach for instant volume tuning and headset connections. So obviously you've not got to reach around the back of your system or use those horrible uh, internal um, audio connections so that you can plug it into the front of your case. I hate the look of those inside a, a computer. Anyway, enjoy effortless adjustment in your new Zonar Audio Center, which I'll show you in a minute. And then realistic surround and enhanced technology thanks to Dolby Home Theater V4 and a GX4 game engine. GX3, sorry, game audio engine. When we come down, we'll pick out a few points. Uh, on here, you can see that it's uh, talking um, with external microphone and without the external microphone. And this is essentially the uh, active noise cancelling that works on the microphone points on here. So it says a smart algorithm analyzes sound detected by both external microphone and one of the mic micro mics on the control box to cancel out environmental noise. So that can drown out, um, you know, maybe music that you've got playing in the background, your gameplay so that you don't get echo when you're in games and you're talking to your friends. But if you don't have a headset with a microphone, you can use the mic on the uh, control um, panel. Uh, and then that way, that's uh, you, you get the best of both worlds. So you can still talk to your mates and stuff, but you don't necessarily have to have it built into your headset. Um, coming down, just to pick up some points, you've got 118 decibel clarity signal to noise ratio. Uh, it doesn't say what the competing gaming audio card would be, uh, but apparently it's four times whatever that one was. But when you look at it, this graph looks massive. But this is 118 um, uh, decibel SNR but this one's 109 so there's, there's it's only nine decibels in it so that graph obviously would be quite long um, they've obviously just skewed it so it looks better there uh, it's got a digital to analog converter DAC and it's the PCM 1796 but I very much doubt whether many of you are really gonna you know give a monkeys about this type of thing it says about the EMI shielding uh, it says about the headphone amplifier there, driving up to 600 ohm impedance. Um, so that's a hell of a headphone driver, really. Three headphone gain settings, three different gain settings catered to various headphone impedance levels. And depending on those impedance levels, you've got uh, up to 64 ohms, it's blue. If you go above 64, up to 150 ohms, it goes red. So then it's just talking about the... Um, uh, control box and then the the, the zonar center which I'll show you now 
Right, so when you get into the, the zone R center, what we'll do is we'll look at this one. You need to pick your output. If you've got a couple connected, you can, you know, switch them on and off. Um, volume control. Now, when I first got this, I did, I'll, I'll be 100%, I thought this was very uh, kind of basic. I didn't realize that you have to right hand click over the speakers and then you get a secondary menu setting. And then you've got speaker settings so you can change how you want them laid out. The sample rate, it goes up to 192 kilohertz, 16 bits, 24 bits. As you can see, I've got it on 192.16 at the moment. Um, environmental effects, this is quite a funny one really, but um, I'll tell you what we'll do. Just we'll, we'll put it on in the background, just so that I can show you the difference. Now, what do I want? E, electro house. Right, so I've just got it on low in the background, and I've got it on living room at the moment. <laughs> But I don't know why, but there are a lot of settings so you can make it like you're in an alleyway. Or a sewer pipe. Or where's drugs? This one's funny. Now, I'm not sure why you would want to use some of these effects, especially like that drugged one. It just that just sounded just wrong. Psychotics bad as well. Um, but we'll turn that off. So you've got those effects there that you can use. You've got flex bass. And you can essentially uh, set your cutoff frequency or like your crossover point, so I'll just speak the bass level that you want to use, and you can turn the bass off altogether if you want, depending on how you're, you want it set up. But plenty of options there, we'll turn that off as well. Uh, Zia Sing FX. Um, yeah, I've not really used this to be uh, fair, but you've got key shifting, so you can turn the pitch up and down. And then uh, enable vocal fading, which is you can turn the voice on or off. Um, I've really not played about with that too much, to be fair, but be there if you want to. Zia's surround speaker, you can uh, make it seem like you've got um, rear speakers and stuff as well. Obviously, you can have a play with this and see how you like it to um, work. And then you've got the Dolby Centre. I've got down there. You have to turn it on. And then you've got a lot of settings with the Dolby Center. You've got uh, profiles on the sides. You can have it movie, music, game. And you can set up your profiles for each. You've got uh, an intelligent equalizer where you can just go through and click different equalizer settings. It does make quite a bit of difference as well. If we hover over them, I'll turn the music down. You've got balance, which dynamically enhances all frequencies. Open, which dynamically enhances low and high. Uh, focused, which is mid. Then we've got bright, which is uh, high frequencies. Rich, which is low and mid frequencies. And then warm which is dynamically enhances low frequencies. You can also, if you want, you can turn that off. Just have this and you can set the... You know, you can set these up to whatever you want. And you can set it up to, you know, your own tastes, your own music tastes, the way you like to listen to music. Uh, and you can save it uh, as a profile as well if you want, but it's quite easy to reset them. You've got a volume leveler, dialogue enhancer, headphone uh, volume, and then like speaker um, stuff. And this is all to do with the surround virtualizer. Now what I'm gonna do, 
Now what I'll do is I'll give you a quick blast of uh, some music being played on this, but what we also need to do, considering this is meant to be like a, a, a gaming um, sound card, is we need to do uh, some game testing as well. But obviously I, I already know people that are already out there saying, ah, oh, it doesn't matter how good uh, your microphone is or anything like that, it's only as good as our speakers and obviously YouTube's going to take the connection out of it and everything like that. So that's, that is fair enough. So perhaps what we'll do is we'll call this it for like the testing side of things and then we'll move into a conclusion and my thoughts on the, the card itself, um, how good it is, the price, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, uh, I think it's probably best time that we move on to that. Hokey jokes then peeps, moving on to the conclusion. Now we'll start with the award and then we'll um, we'll move on, you know, and I'll explain why. I'm gonna give it the OC 3D Gamers Choice Award. Um, but kind of with a uh, kind of clause with it as well. It does deserve the gamers choice, it does give you a lot of options for your gaming. I'm the amount of times I've heard people moaning about you know the uh, when they're in game and they're talking to their friends and stuff. And to be honest, one thing I will say is if you, uh, you're you looking at this card as an option of being able to purchase it, and uh, this is the reason why, then that would all be you know well and good, especially with the, the ambient kind of noise cancellation. If you're not going to be using this, um, I, w I would probably say that it, you, you'll be looking at getting a different sound card, to be honest. Now... To be fair to Asus, they make amazing sound cards. I, I personally would say, as far as kind of like easily accessible um, computer, you know, audio cards are concerned, Asus make some of the best cards on the planet. Um, I personally use a D2X uh, and have done for a long time, and I, uh, I'd only ever want to kind of upgrade to one of the Essence ones, really, probably the STX. Um, but this is the problem is that where Asus do make some amazing sound cards when they start to bring out kind of more specific ones like this uh, and the price increases it kind of makes you wonder what you're paying for because the I've just looked and the D2X is available now brand new um, for 90 quid and from the same retailer the uh, Phoebus or whatever you want to call it is 150 so that's a 60 pound difference um, it's a fair old whack uh, um, now, to kind of put it, you know, to, to split them up, this is aimed at uh, dedicated gamers, but you have got the, the software available, so you can make flicks and changes, especially like changing between movie, your gaming settings, and uh, music settings, and you've only got to go into that and select it, and you can change all your equalizers and all your, you know, sounds, and you can have it all saved. That's, you know, that, that side of things is pretty good. <coughs> but I'll be honest with you. With my D2X, I've got it with a, just a 3.5 millimeter out going into some um, uh, edifiers. Uh, and then I run it at the same settings all the time, whether I'm playing games, whether I'm playing music, whether I'm editing videos. I just use it for that, and the, the, it's a brilliant. But the thing is, is what, the, another thing that makes it, you know, there's a, such a price difference there. Now, a lot of people will be saying, why do I need a sound card over like a normal audio? On the board well audio on the board has got a tendency of dying to be fair and it's never ever as good as a dedicated card um, even the difference between say for instance like normal onboard audio where you've just got like a you know like the crappy ALC chip or whatever it's called um, and just like normal audio on the back compared to just a 40 pound Asus Zona because they do do one that's 40 quid and I think it's 7.1 as well it's only a little short PCI Express card um, uh, the difference between normal on board and that is dramatic. The 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 extra clarity that you get um, is you know for forty quid it's a no brainer, and it's only really when you can understand the difference and you can actually register the difference that it then starts to you know make more sense to spend money on a different uh, sound card. If you've got crap speakers, it might not be any point you buying a decent sound card. You know you might be better off upgrading the rest of your audio first. Um, if you're a gamer and you've always got your headsets on, you're obviously going to want something with a decent uh, headphone amplifier. Uh, that's only obviously going to work if you've, you're not running a USB headphone, for example. That's another kind of uh, point with these, is it's only really the headphones 
with the uh, 3.5 mil jacks this is going to be any good for. Um, but uh, I don't want to sound too negative on this because a lot of you gamers still do prefer the non-USB headsets. We've got the two plugs and you are going to notice the difference. I've tested it very briefly with a set of headphones. Now, I'm no expert because I don't like wearing cans for too long. It gives me a headache and I've tried most. Um, I did try it with this and the, the difference with that headphone amp is quite stark. There is, a, there is a lot more power there available to you should you want to use it. And you can set it up really well. So this is why I said I'm going to give it the Gamer's Choice Award but there's a lot of stuff that you need to understand. It really is. For me, this is a, a gaming headphone sound card set that you can plug speakers into if you want, you know, for when you're listening to music in your room or, you know, in your man cave or whatever you want to call it. And you've got the options that you can easily switch between them, but predominantly headphones. Now, if you're not predominantly a headphone gamer, um, then I would s honestly say save your money, uh, especially if you're like me and you use speakers and you don't really use headphones very much or, you know, headphones at all would probably a be a better one. Then I would say, honestly, you're better off saving your money and buying something like the D2X. Um, but it, like I said, heavily gaming based. It's not a, really, I wouldn't say it's a specialist. Um, uh like music or you know watching films or anything like that can be used for it but believe it or not the cheaper one is better or at least to my ears and the way I've you know set all my system up anyway um but like I said really good unit it's just that price stings and it, you ha it, you have to have very specific needs for this to be worth spending the money on which is why it's not got one of our you know, bronze, silver, gold awards. It's more very kind of like specialist gamery kind of award. Um, but still great all the same. Did get some really good results out of the um, uh, the speakers. Obviously, I played you music uh, because when it comes to games, you really need to be sat there and in, engrossed in it to be able to get the, the best from it. And you do get relatively good kind of like positioning. That side of things is great. That and the headphones. Um, uh, does make a world of difference. Speakers, not so much, but the, when you've got the headphones properly clamped on your head and you can, you know, you can feel people kind of going around and stuff. But again, that's very gaming specific and that's not something that you're really going to be wanting um, for your uh, for your music and stuff. Um, so hopefully I've kind of managed to explain myself in, uh, in a decent enough way that you, you understand what, where I'm coming from. If you're a gamer, headphones, brilliant sound card um, it will do you proud any other kind of use especially with music you play games with speakers on your desk and stuff like that I would severely say look at something else there are probably better other options out there for you um, but I'm not going to go around in circles anymore I hope you like the review this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you